Hey YouTube, Dan here from EAP Films Official and today I'm going to be reacting to the final uh, Mother's Day trilogy video called Amor. Now given that the other two were names, Helen and Tess, is Amor someone's name? Or is Amor just... Because uh, to me that means love in different languages in Europe, so I suppose thinking about it, it would make a lot of sense in the Philippines. I guess we'll find out. Let's find out. So this is Mother's Day Trilogy, Amor. Yeah. That reminds me of the tricycles we rode when we were in the Philippines. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So she's talking to herself, climbing in the wardrobe and jumping out, and now she's acting as a statue, as you do. <laughs> Bit creepy. I know what it is. She's craving a jolly bee and she's going a bit mad. So yeah, Amora is her name, I just saw. It's all making sense now. Hindi man ipahalata ni nanay. Alam kong nahihirapan at napapagod din siya. Ah, I was gonna say how did it answer the, uh, the scary one. Now we know. I've actually done one of these um, horror mazes, they're called. Wow. Got the sacrifices she made. And presumably millions more people as well. Well, there's half a school fund money gone to the <laughs> to Jolly B. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm of course guess, jesting. I like that one, that's really interesting, very creative. Wow. I think whilst that was the least emotional one, I found it affected me the most all the same because 
I know, I've seen what the Philippines is like and I know how hard many of you work um, just to keep a roof over your heads, to, to look after your children. It's hard, it's really hard, multiple jobs and the lengths people go to just to survive astonishes me every single time. You know, I've, I've uh, just watching that, it looked exhausting. You know, she's doing all the housework and stuff and working for jobs and looking after children. I mean, that's, that is more than a full-time effort. And I'm sure many people in the exact same scenario are also single mothers as well, which makes it even harder to do. I just have so much respect. And like I say, it's the least emotional, but the most effective for me, because I've, I've had first-hand um, experience with all that, having traveled around the Philippines. Yeah, it's just incredible. Incredible people, you guys are just, I salute you, I salute you. Amazing. Um, so going back briefly to the horror mazes, I did do one several years ago. I did a few actually, it was all part of the same evening, but different mazes. And it is, it's quite, it's quite scary. The only, the only, um, what helps me sleep at night is knowing that it is all an act. You're not going to die. You're not going to be unsafe. You know, it's all going to be okay. Therefore, nothing, is good, nothing bad's going to happen. Sure, you might get a few frights. Things might happen. You might get strobe lighting and, you know, things might jump out at you. That's part and parcel of the horror maze, but you're going to be fine. And it is quite scary. You walk through the maze and you'll go through like a dark tunnel that is literally pitch black and you can't see anything. You're feeling in front. And you, you're, you're in, I think you go in groups of, say, 12 or so and you, you know you're feeling in front of you and people's feet that you that are crouching in this small hole call it this small hole and you're just feeling feet and you know and it's a bit weird and then you come at the other end of it and there's like somebody there to scare you and then you go through another part of the maze and there's like strobe lighting and the zombies and stuff or um in this in, in in one of the mazes we went to it was um like a mental asylum so you had like nurses and you know people were there was a, a dwarf in there and a, a guy with like, you know, part of his face missing and it was really good how they've done it. The lighting and the aesthetics and the, the prosthetics and the costuming and it was overall a great experience and I recommend if you ever get a chance to do a horror maze to, to go and do it. It's not scary as I say in the sense of you are scared for your life. They're, you know, you know it's not real so that is okay. Um, the actors in there don't touch you, they don't, um, they're not allowed to touch you or anything like that and, and, and obviously you're not supposed to touch them either. So it is very much a kind of, you walk through and kind of go, th you go through the whole motion of the maze but you don't actually physically get touched or anything so it's not like you're going to get abused or, or anything, um, which is good. But yeah, do a whole maze, they're really good, especially on Halloween time, fantastic. Back to Mother's Day, um, love the advert most effective i love the diversity i love the creation the creativity of the ad and uh, i'm looking forward to it. what's the next one going to be now we've done mother's day done father's day um you guys tell me what comes next on the philippine jollibee calendar so uh whatever that is i look forward to reacting to that so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my reaction don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you next time